Hello, thank you for joining Mathis Digital. My name is Aaron, and today we are going to see how you can call a Java class from within T24. We are going to see how to do the integration of T24 with a third party Java application. On my screen, on the right here, I have uh, prepared some documentation for us to follow. This is um, a simple basic program. So this is to save you time. So I've prepared this for you. I have a typical Hello World uh, application. So if you are a Java developer, you already know this. Okay, this is a typical Hello World application. So if you're using an IDE such as uh, Eclipse or IntelliJ, then um, this, you can generate this code automatically. And how do we run this program? Of course, Java is a compiled language. So we need to compile our source code in our source. We have a package called IEO Mathis test and here we have our main class. This is our main class. So if you're using an IDE, what you normally do, you click on run and the run performs in the background two steps. Let me perform this step since I'm not using any IDE. The first step is compilation. You compile your Java application using uh, Java C. Okay, you type Java C and then the full path to your class. So my class is in IO Mathis test. And then the name of the class is main.java. Okay. Fantastic. As you can see, there's no error. And automatically, main.class is generated. Now we need to run our application. So we use Java and the name of our class, the full name. So full name is uh, the package name, io.mathc.test. So this one, dot the name of our class. So basically you take your package name dot class name, hit enter. Fantastic. So as you can see, we have hello world. But if you're using an ID such as Intel J or Eclipse, you don't have to worry about this. You just click run and the, your ID in the background will run uh, these two steps. Okay. Now let's create our greeting class. Because if you see here, we want to call a greeting class, not the main class. Okay. So we are going to use this main class probably to test our application before we deploy it to T24. So within here, let me create another file. I'm going to call it greeting.java. Okay. We are going to put it in the same uh, package. So we do package io.mathc.test. And we say public class greeting. Okay. Good. Now here, we can create a constructor. A constructor method is invoked uh, when you're creating instances of this class. So it has the same name as the class name. So it should be public. and the name of our class. Okay, we don't have anything here. Okay, now let's create our hello method. Our hello method is going to be also public because we want to access it from outside, okay? And it's going to return a string 
and the name is hello. Uh, this method is going to accept one parameter, which is a string, and let's call it a name. Then we can return. So let's say it's going to return hello and the name. This method is going to receive name as a parameter and then it's going to return hello plus the name. If you pass it name, let's say John Doe, it's going to return hello John Doe. Okay. Now we can now create an instance of this class in our main class and invoke its method hello. Let's do that. Okay. The way you create an instance of a class, you use the class name and then the instance name. I want to create an instance called greeting in small letter and they say new greeting. Okay. And now we can use this instance to invoke our hello method okay so let's do that let's create uh, a variable we call it let's say message okay we say message equals now this greeting dot hello and we pass it a name Let's say for now we want to say hello, Aaron. And here instead of uh, printing this hello world, let's print our message. Okay. All right. So we are going to compile it again. No error. Now, as you can see, I compiled main.java, but greeting also got compiled. So you don't need to compile separately. You can just compile the main class since it is invoking a greeting class. Greeting class also gets compiled. Now we can run our... Okay, as you can see now we have hello Aaron. Fantastic. So we know our greeting class is working. Okay. If we give it a different name, let's say John Doe. Then compile again. We run it. We say hello, John Doe. Okay. Now, how do we invoke it uh, on T24? We need to put it in a jar and then invoke the jar. So we run the jar. Okay, let's do that. Here I've given you some steps. Of course, if you're using your IDE, you can automatically generate the jar from within uh, the IDE. But I'm showing you how to use command line because sometimes you might need to use command line if you don't have any IDE, okay, how do you do that? You, you need to create uh, a manifest file. A manifest file is just a text file. Uh, you can give it an extension or not. The main thing here, you put main class. You need to specify the main class. So if you see here, we have our main class is in io.mathis.test. And this is how we, we invoked it. Okay. So basically you take this and you put in your manifest. Just like this. So we have our manifest. And you make sure you have a new line. Okay. Once you have that, what you do to generate uh, a jar file, you use jar. Then see. Actually, let's, let me show you. The command I'm going to run. If you type a jar, 
as you can see there are different flags c we create a new archive uh, v is going to generate in a verbose mode we are going to see uh, the output we have f which is specify the archive file name and you have m which is we want to include a manifest file so we can type jar actually let me let me clear let me clear now so we type jar c for creating an archive file v verbose mode uh, f for a specific file jar file and m want to include manifest okay then we want to create let's call it uh, call j test dot jar and our manifest file is called manifest dot txt okay and our classes are located in io mathc test okay then we want to have everything class click enter fantastic now as you can see our call j test is generated we have added the manifest we also added our two classes greeting and main now we can run our jar file now instead of running our class so we do java minus jar and the name of our jar is call jar okay fantastic as you can see we have hello join dom now the next step what you need to do you need to take this jar which is generated and copy it to the server Now, let's move to the T24 part. Uh, for us not to waste much of time, I've already created this program. Uh, it's called test call J. So it is in the documentation. Now, let me explain to you. It's straightforward uh, and it's simple to understand. The class name variable contains the full class name, meaning the package dot the name of a class. In that class, we have a method called hello. Okay? This is the method we are talking about. I don't need this. And we say parameter. We want to send a parameter John Doe. Or let's, or let's do a different name, maybe. And Smith. We want to send N Smith. We want to greet N Smith. And the way you use call J, if you can see, is it is a statement which allows a JBC program to call a Java method. So we start by class name, then we give it a name, the name of the method we want to invoke, and the parameter we want to send. So our class is called uh, greeting it has a method called hello and which accepts a string name as a variable okay and then we set the return so whatever a java is going to respond will be in this rate variable feel free to give it a different name okay so the this is 
the return value from Java. And then we say, if we get an error, we want to pick the latest error message. So system zero means the latest error message code. And we are going to have it in this variable called error. And you can output error and return and end. With this, we are calling a hello method of this Java class and passing it and Smith. And the return value we are getting will be in red. Now, if you have an error, we are going to end here. We are going to see on our screen error code. Okay. And here on the bottom, I have given you the documentation, uh, the explanation of all error codes that you can receive. Okay. One to seven. If there is no error, we are going to see received from Java. Okay. And the value. You remember, this returns hello and the name we give it. Okay, let's copy this program. We do, let's create it on T24. We do jed mathc.bp and the name of our program is test call j.b. Okay, now let's paste our source code here. Good. Control V to format it. It's formatted properly the same way here. It is formatted. Now let's save it. Let's compile. Compiled successfully. Let's catalog. Catalog. Now let's run. Or program good as you can see we have received from Java meaning this string okay hello and Smith so now we have successfully invoked our Java method now let's experiment with some error codes which we might receive assume we give it uh, a wrong a wrong name okay Let's omit this. We should expect three, code three. If you do this, so I want you to see what can go wrong, okay? Control V. F5. Let's compile. We catalog and run. As you can see, we have error code 3. Because this greeting class name is not correct. Remember, we in our Java, it is located in the package test. So we need to give a proper name. See, so this is one error you can receive. Uh, the second error, let's say probably we say instead of hello, uh, we give it hi. We don't have this method, okay? Remember, we have, because the method we have is hello. Let's experiment with this. And probably we, we do this. So I want to show you what can go wrong and how to interpret all these errors. FD. Control V. F I. You do basic. 
when we run you see we have error code six error code six means cannot find construct a constructor oh yeah this is confusing so sometimes you get cannot find the method but now it's saying cannot find constructor probably there there is so this is might be confusing so if you have this error five or six check the method is correct so let's put the proper name of a class and the proper name of method maybe let's format it properly like this and you don't need this new line actually okay let's give it a shot again good we compile we catalog and once we run we see received from java hello and smith good you can experiment with different now obviously um, this was for demonstration purpose to show you how you can call uh, a java method so if you have an external application which does some useful uh, stuff not the greeting you can do the same i would challenge you to write uh, an application to do the same in our next uh, video what i'm going to do i'm going to have a more realistic uh, application and i'm going to show you how you can call now multiple parameters because as you can see here we only have one parameter but in the, most of cases you have your method accepting any number of parameters not one parameter so in that case uh, you need to find a way to send the parameters all your parameters to java and the java should be able to receive and do the work so this is going to be uh, the next video so stay tuned so we are going to build a forex application in java and we are going to invoke it on t24 okay thank you i hope you have enjoyed watching this video and you have found it very informative so feel free to comment like and share this video and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so that you don't miss any of our updates. Thank you. Bye-bye.